for students of plus 2 CBC and others. Finding A inverse quickly and correctly. That's what we are going to see today. Now, see A is the 2 by 2 matrix I have taken 5, 6 or minus 3, 5. We have to find the A inverse. So, get a determinant of A that is 25 and minus or minus so 18 that is 43 therefore A inverse is 1 by 43 into adjoint matrix for adjoint matrix this will be interchanging so this 5 let me take something else so instead of 5 I will take say 6 8 so that you can understand clearly no 5 8s are 40 and plus 18 so this is what 58 that is determined value is 58 now this will be interchanging the sign will be changing here and this is your a inverse how to verify that this is correct you just multiply with the given matrix so 5 6 and minus 3 8 so the answer should be identity matrix check whether you are getting that that is 40 and this is 18 the next one is 48 minus 48 the next one is 15 and minus 15 the next one is 18 and this is again 40 so the result is 58 by 58 so 1 this is 0 and this is 0 and this is again 58 by 58 1 so the inverse is correct so 2 by 2 matrix is very simple. No 43 by 3 matrix, I am taking these 3 equations x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 8, 2x plus y plus 2 is equal to 5, 5x plus y plus z equal to 7. You write the given matrix, you write the equation in the given matrix form. That is 1, 3, 4, this is 2, 1, 2, and this is 5, 1, 1. And this will be x, y, z. And the next will be 8, 5, 7. So this is your A matrix and this is x equal to say B. Therefore, x you will be getting by finding out A inverse and pre-multiplying with that. So x will be equal to A inverse of B. This you know. So first you have to find A inverse. So before that you have to go for the determinant. I am finding the determinant value. So 1, this is 1 minus 2 and then minus 3, 2 and minus 10 and then 4, 2 and minus 5. So the answer is now minus 1 and this is 24 and minus 12, 24 minus 13, therefore 11 which is not 0. Therefore, definitely A inverse A exists. Is it okay? Now we have to go for that A inverse. That is, you have to find the adjoint matrix. So, before that, just let me note down this value determined of A equal to 11. Now, how to find that adjoint matrix quickly? Very simple. You write down the given matrix 1, 3, 4. 2, 1, 2 and 5, 1, 1. Repeat the first two columns. Now it is there. 5 rows and 3 columns. 5 so columns and 3 rows. Let us make it as a square matrix by introducing 2 more rows. That is first 2 rows I am writing again. Is it all right? What I have done? I have written the matrix and then I extend the first two columns and then I have written the first two rows as it is so that it becomes a square matrix. After that what you do, you don't consider this and also don't consider the first column. First one, first column you delete. Now what is left out? This. See for this one you find the determinant for this 2 by 2 matrix. You consider this is the 2 by 2 and then find the determinant value. What is the determinant value? 1 minus 2. 
and then go for this one this determinant so this is 4 and minus 3 4 minus 3 1 you write here in the row and third one 3 into 2 6 and minus 4 you write in the row so next one 2 fives are 10 minus 2 so write here 8 and this is 1 and here it is 20 1 minus 20 and here is 8 minus 2 6 similarly the other one will be 2 minus 5 15 minus 1 or 1 minus 6 is it alright so what I have done I have found the determined value of this one and then extend like that so what I got minus 1 1 2 8 minus 19 16 3, minus 3 14 minus 5 this is nothing but your adjoint matrix this is your adjoint matrix you got the adjoint matrix itself so normally what you should do you will have to get the minor and then apply that minus 1 the whole power of a minus or minus 1 sorry I, I power of so minus 1 the whole power of i plus j you have to apply into minus that will be the cofactor and then you will write it and then transpose here all these problems are reduced just you are writing it and then finding the values in the column and writing the values in the row but you are not considering this fact that is minus 1 the whole power i power j and all you don't remember at all you can find the in adjoint matrix now again the question comes Okay, adjoint matrix was saying that. Is it correct? How to verify that? Yes, that's a question. So, you know one property that is A into adjoint of A equal to adjoint of A into A equal to determinant of A and I. Here is a 3 by 3, so it should be I3. This you know, isn't it? So, if this adjoint of A, if I multiply with A, and I get this one, then I am correct. So let me see that. So put that. Write the matrix. Five one one. Now start multiplying that. Minus one. Plus two. And plus ten. The next one is minus three. Plus one and plus 2. The next one is minus 4 plus 2 plus 2. The next one is 8 into 1 8 and minus 38 6 into 5. The next one 24 minus 19 plus 6. The next one 32 minus 38 plus 6 the next one minus 3 14 twos are 28 minus 25 the next one minus 3 into 3 so minus 9 plus 14 and minus 5 the last one is minus 12 plus 28 and minus 5 what is this matrix? 10 plus 2, 12 minus 1, so 11. This is 0. 2 plus 2 minus 4, 0. 30 plus 8 minus 38, 0. 24 plus 6, 30. 30 minus 19 is 11. 32 plus 38 minus 38, 0. 28 minus 28 is again 0. And 14 here also, 14, 0. And this part is 28 and minus 17, so 11. <coughs> so you got that. That is 11 into i. 11 is nothing but determinant of A, i.e. therefore this is the adjoint matrix. There is no doubt about that. Isn't it? Now how to find inverse? After finding adjoint matrix, inverse is nothing. All that you have to do is, you have to put that 1 by determinant value. So A inverse is 1 by 11. That is your A inverse. Now how to solve the equations? How to find A inverse, you are going to multiply with B matrix. So here I am continuing that 857. 
so 1 by 11 now minus 8 plus 5 7 2s are 14 the next one 8 8s are 64 minus 19 into 5 minus 95 and this is 6 minus 19 into 5 6 7s are 42 the third one minus 6 plus 70 minus 35 then this one simplification give you 14 plus 5 19 19 minus 8 11 11 by 11 so 1 64 plus 42 9 106 minus 95 again 11 11 by 11 the next one minus 3 into 8 so minus 24 so minus 24 and minus 35 minus 59 plus 70 plus 11 11 by 11 1 so you got 1 1 1 which is equivalent to saying that x equal to 1, y equal to 1, that z equal to 1. Now again, you have to check out whether it is correct, isn't it? So, let us find out. Let us put these values in the given equations. And if it is satisfied, then what we have got is correct. So, here you can see that 1, y is 1, therefore 3, z is also 1, therefore 4, 4 plus 3 plus 1, 8. Yes, we got it. The next one, 2 plus 1 plus 2, again 5, we got it. The next one is 5 here and this is 1, this is 1, so totally 7. So, we got the values also correct. So, this is the area inverse and the solution also we got it in no time. So, if you have not understood it, please again go look into that. You will be understanding it in case, in case you don't understand it, please give it in your comments. I will explain that with one more example. So, thank you for listening.